how you doing? dirty germs. I'm a nail in your coffin. Oh my gosh. Y'all see this? I put my hair up in a clip yesterday and now I have this weird curly kink thing here. You're a curly kink thing. Anyway. Um, I think I'm somewhere by St. Louis in Missouri. You are. Is that where I'm at? How did you get here? Right I don't know. I slept through it. Oh, we left out of New York, right? I had all that footage that I never did use because... The video ended, and I was like, well, I'll just take all this footage. I don't know if I'll use it in this video or not, or just never use it. Maybe Damn you it. can put it in some odd places, even though it's New York. I mean, maybe not when we're going through Nebraska, but I don't know. Somebody will look <laughs> at it and go, you're not in Nebraska. You're not in Nebraska. Anyway, so I'm in Missouri now, apparently, and I'm going to Tulsa, Oklahoma to drop off this big engine. Did you ever show them this engine? No, it's Missouri. Are you telling me no, you didn't show them? Or no, we're not in Missouri. We're in Missouri. We're in Missouri, and no, I didn't show them. <laughs> but that'll be in the next clip. Anyway, I'm going to Tulsa. I'm going to drop this big fat engine off. And then, I'm going for tacos. With less, probably. Probably. Oh, i got to get my oil changed first. My dang fuel filter says that it's getting full. Fool. Full. Fool. My oil, or my oil filter. My fuel filter is getting full, so I'm going to have to get my oil changed and get my fuel filter. My fuel filter don't do near as bad as it used to. Used to, we had to change it all the time. The first, what, 100,000? Yeah, it's time for... It's 181,000 now, so we're good. Yeah. Alrighty. We'll see him in Tulsa. Yeah. Or, well, actually, we'll probably see him at the Petro. Yeah. At the Petro. For an oil change. I'm going to go to bed for four or five hours. Then I'll see him. Lazy thing. <laughs> like he's been doing anything all night. I made the devil run. I gave him poison just for fun. I had one friend. Now there's none. I made the devil run I broke so many bones But none of them were ever my own They were an army, I was alone I broke so many bones Sucking face with a dog. He likes to kiss me. He likes to kiss me. He Hi. likes to push my ass against the wall. <laughs> he does. All right, guys, we just got our Earl changed. You know that? Well, you'll, you'll see that in a minute. Oh, that guy did too. But I can't record him. Yeah. Here, record him with my phone and then you can show him later. I've already got recordings of him without his trailer. <sighs> Y'all hear him? He's such a complainer. Oh, I am. I'm bad. But anyway, we got our oil change. We're, we're in Joplin. Oh, look. Boxer. There's a guy getting in the orange truck. We, I got his truck already. You know there's always big trucks hanging out in Joplin. It's kind of like the Iowa 80. Cruise around, you'll find some. There's another big red Peterbilt back in the corner, too. I'm going to go back there and record it also. Or you, you're going to drive back there and I'm going to record it because I'm like, you know, the sleeper bird. My time is done. All right, so if we're going home in a week. We need to clear up some misconceptions here. Guys, 
We go home on average four months out of the year. We stay home for a long for four extended months. periods of yeah. time. For like a month at a time. Yeah. March we're gonna be home in for three weeks. September we'll be home for a month. Next January we're taking off a whole month. So it's like people might think that we don't uh I mean, what, we did a hunt, like 172,000 miles this last year. Hell, a solo driver can do 150, you know? Well. We're part-time hobby truckers. We also don't exactly make videos from home. And some people have commented about like, oh, you're here. Well, we're not there. Our videos, we kind of try and get a little bit ahead on. So when we go home, we still have some videos to put out instead of not putting out any videos for a month straight. I'm, like right, we'll right try and have today, two weeks built I up have or something. About 40 videos recorded. I stay two weeks out and then I keep a backlog of stuff that I may never release. It's just there for, oh look, I went home and I stayed home longer than I expected so then I'll, I can put a video up. Well, and actually, it was just a year ago that we were home for part of November, all of December, half all of January, and half of February. Right, and we had videos to cover that whole time frame. That's just how I roll. And uh, and we've been to Matt's every year for the past three years. Yeah, and we'll be there. <coughs> now we'll be doing some videos from Matt's this year, probably, but they may not be coming out till months after, right? Right. I mean, some of them will be up, but like the, the large cars videos, I'll save for later. I won't. Well, and I think like time. if you have a wife at home and kids at home, you might want to be home every weekend, obviously. But yeah. we're out here together, and if we're off in Florida, we just unload the bikes and go to hang out in Florida. You and know? since we don't have That's appointment vacation, times, literally. We, we don't have dock time. So that really cuts our our rolling resistance down in a way because... Yeah, the, nor, generally we get loaded or unloaded immediately when we go somewhere. The longest time we have to wait is like uh, if somebody's coming from the other side of the airport. Or if it's a third... And we have to get escorted in or something. You or, know, we might have to wait Or if like it's a third party supplier that is closed at night. Yes, but we know that ahead of time, so we don't yeah. just have to go there and sit at the dock and wait for six hours. We know we can't pick up till eight o'clock in the morning, so we just either we ask them if there's somewhere to park, we just go park and hang out for the night, or we just don't get there till. That's how we manage to be, to in a way, kind of part-time truckers and motorcycle enthusiasts on the side because all that dock time that other people have sitting in a dock, we're riding a motorcycle during that time. Or, or yeah, if you're in a dock for or, four hours or six hours or ten hours, right. We don't have to do that. Actually, even when we were in Laredo, I know I said it on one of the other videos. If you're on General Freight in Laredo, they're just going to make you sit and wait forever. We talked to the people that we pick up and deliver from, and they didn't think it was going to be across the border. Uh, went in and talked to them, got the bikes down, gave them our number. They took our number. They said, we'll call you when it's coming in. You know, call in before 6 and double check and see if it comes in. And It was no big deal, but with General Freight, you... They would have been like, if you're not here. But we you know, are really crazy. truckers for life. We are truckers for life, and that's what we want to do. We enjoy it. We love it. We, we I don't want to. I don't want to say, oh, I've been in the, I've been in the game for 30 years, and something's wrong. No, we, we are financially, we are so financially stable. You would shit the bed, you know. If you, we just, we, we were at that, at that point in our careers. That like and working like a company like this, you've got to have at least five years, you know, just a great record. Well, we've actually talked about it before because we were like, okay, what would we do if we retired, right? Because we could retire. What would we do? Travel. Okay, we would go end up buying an RV, and we would go drive around, take the motorcycles with us, take the dogs with us, spend money traveling, right? So what's the difference if we just take this, get paid to drive places? And I said, I figured it up earlier. We've been, since July, we've rode our motorcycles in, and this is winter, right? So there's places we obviously can't ride. Since July, we've rode in 22 states. And think about this. A lot of people talk about retirement and, and you're stocking your money away. If you have $100,000 in a high yield savings account. You can get 2% nowadays if you look. That, that's that's two thousand. That's over $2,000 a month, almost 2,500 a month. If, if you've been in trucking long enough, you ought to have two, three, four hundred thousand dollars sucked away like that. And actually that secures your retirement and, and, and it's a total 100% income. So you wouldn't even need trucking. But if you love trucking, then you can still truck. 
Right. Or you can just let the interest grow over there. Just let it grow. And use your trucking to pay your bills. Right. And bills that you don't even have to have, you know. But we keep bills just because that's the American way. Keep bills. No, we're going to pack the truck off. We ain't keeping bills. Right, we're not. Smoking crack, we ain't keeping bills. <laughs> we'll see you guys in Tulsa. Y'all see that? You see that? What he goes through <laughs> to get the footage. And scared by an empire fall. I swung the gate and scared the walls. They wouldn't share, so I took it all. I watched an empire fall. I'm bad.